Hi, and welcome back to the Cannabis Sommelier. I'm your host, Andrew Friedman. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Cannabis and Wine Pairings. Today, I have an exciting Canadian producer, Canadian strain, and an amazing German wine. And I'm gonna help you dissect German wine labels a little bit. So let's start there. The wine I have is a Kalfels Riesling. So it is a German Riesling. Uh, and German wines often have a lot of confusing uh, terminology on the label and if you don't speak German it's very confusing so I'm just gonna dissect it a little bit with this wine. So uh, Kalfels is the producer, it's from Feingut Albert Kalfels and I'm probably butchering his name but I'm really bad at German uh, and then it's Riesling Grape and then below it says Riesling Hogvix and what Hogvix is, it's a term that's not often used in bottling, but it's above uh, a Qualitweisen wine, which is the general naming term if a wine is made in one of the 13 original German wine regions. But it's below a Pradekatweisen, uh, which is uh, a higher must weight, a higher sugar weight initially. So this is gonna have more alcohol probably than a Qualitweisen wine, because it's supposed to have a little bit more must weight, but it is labeled as a Trokin wine, Trokin meaning dry. Um, so I, I should suspect a drier wine, um, you know, dry in wine terms is under 10 grams of residual sugar, but it can be quite confusing with German wines a lot of the time. It's 11.5% alcohol uh, and it's, the, it's a 2012 vintage, so six years old at this point. Open this bottle quick and see how it smells. Okay. Very pale lemon. Looks as though it could be unfiltered. Maybe a little bit of petalance in there. A little bit of bubble. See how it smells. Wow. It's a very bright Riesling, distinct of the Mosul region. That slate, minerality, petrol, lemon, lime, grapefruit all stand out quite intensely. It smells very nice. On the palate, nice and dry, higher acidity, taste of like sour green apple, maybe underripe apricot, underripe stone fruit, that petrol taste, that nice steely minerality, and a really long finish. It's making my mouth work. The acidity is so nice and high. Beautiful wine. And I think it's gonna go phenomenal with the extract. So the extract I have today, I've chosen to pair with it today, is from Everlasting Extracts, and it is Barbera Bud. And a big thank you to Notable Cannabinoids for giving this to me and asking me to do a video with it. Wanted to choose something fantastic, uh, and I, I think I chose a great wine. So thanks, Notable Cannabinoids, for the awesome present. Let's open it for our first time. I, I, it was really hard to help myself from opening it when you first gave it to me. So. You can see, I can see diamonds and terps. Looks beautiful. Oh, stuck. Just a little bit on the top. You can see a real saucy extract. There might be one visual fault in there. I'm just gonna look at that quick. There is a small visual fault, unfortunately. So that's one thing right off the bat for a hundred dollar gram. Wow, the nose is very loud. Lemon, grapefruit, lime. It almost smells like uh, if you've left a bottle of white wine on the counter for a few days, uh, like over fermenting wine. Citrus rind, it smells really really good and it's quite pungent medium plus almost on a pungent side so Barbera Bud is from the house of the great gardener 
and a great Canadian grower runs an awesome seed bank and it's a cross of, a cross of Afghani and Shishka berry. Oh, so much citrus. Fermented grape or er, fermented orange skin. So let's smell it with the wand. Wow, to the wine, when I smell from the extract to the wine, it really makes my wine smell like stone fruit, apricot, peach, really, really uh, tropical in that sense, marmalade. From the wine to the extract, it's just beautiful, beautiful citrus rind in this extract. It's, it's fantastic. I don't think the wine actually lends anything to it because the um, extract is so terpene rich. So let's see how they pair on the palate. Get one of these nice little diamonds in here. Beautiful, little diamond. Use my rig by Nish Glass and my D-nail. On the palate, not quite as intense as the nose, but still very terpene rich. Grapefruit, skin, grapefruit zest, geranium, lime, lemon. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing, quite a heavy body. Very terpene rich, very chesty. Quite delicious, let's see how it pairs. It lends a lot of its grapefruit characteristic to the wine. It also almost feels like it adds sugar to the wine and doesn't leave it as a dry wine anymore. It puts it over that scale and almost increases the mouthfeel of the wine, the body of the wine. <coughs> and it definitely changes the, app, the finish. It adds a lot of that, that mandarin orange to the finish. I can imagine this with a nice roast chicken, some white fish, be absolutely wonderful. So I hope you'll check out Everlasting Extracts, Barbera Bud, check out the House of the Great Gardener, grab yourself a bottle of Calfell's Riesling, pair it all together. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to doing another video. Cheers.